AJ here. On a KTM or Husqvarna, this little tiny little fuel filter can ruin your day. So we're going to talk about how to change this thing. Uh, we were out riding this brand new bike, 2020, and we got some junk in there. This thing started running really bad. Boo, boo. And the gas was full. Felt like it was running out of gas. And I'll show you what we do is we just, you unclip this and you pull this off like so. See this O-ring? This is also an O-ring that you might want to look at sometimes uh, changing. It can get cut. So uh, we have a brand new O-ring right here and they're not very much. So you, you want to put a brand new O-ring and then also, so we pulled that filter out of there to finish off the day of riding. So it goes in here like this. And so when we're out at the tr at the track and our hills, uh, we had nothing around and I grabbed some wire and I was able to pull this out. And then it, when you pull these out, people think you can blow them off or see, you can't see whatever's wrong. So they're just trash and they're about $7. And I got a, I'll have a picture here um, online uh, on the RM site, it was uh, 707. And we usually keep a few of these things around and that day I didn't have one in my pack. So for the brand new one, this is our brand new one. You put it in just like that till it's flush. I also like to put a little bit of grease just a, a little bit of grease on this o-ring right here and that'll keep this thing from cutting as bad and so when you put this back in you put it like this and you hear it click that's all there is to it really simple deal uh, I like to change them I usually wait till they go bad but you can do it before then uh, and so you want to keep if you have a KTM that uses this type of filter I would keep two or three of these things with you and if you're riding off-road, I keep one in your Camelback so that you're you're good to go. I should say hydration pack. There we go. So simple little trick. There you go.